Hello guys, how's everybody? I just got home from a training in Prattville, which uh, was about half a day. I was gonna go back to school and get some work done, but I'm like, man, I never come home early on days like this. So I uh, came home early, it was a really good training. The guy was who did the training was like no nonsense and he did a really good job and um, got some food, came on back here. Thought about just chilling and not working out at all because I'm kind of tired, but I think I'm going to get a run in. I kind of have this theory, and I'm not the only one who thinks this, and it's probably totally not grounded in any research whatsoever, but my theory is I can make up lack of sleep with more exercise. It gives me more energy, and it makes up that tired deficit, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't make any sense. Point being, I'm going for a run. Let's get it. Miss Rachel just got home from work. And I'm eating strawberry and avocados. Look at that. A lot of people don't understand this, but it's really good. Did you have a good day? Tell them what you're, uh, tell them what you're, uh, what class you're in right now. Um, pharmacology, and I've got a quiz that I'm pretty sure I'm about to fail. She's not going to fail it. I need prayers. She's so smart. We all, we all need prayers. We always need prayers. Pharmacology or not. Serious prayers. You're doing so well. She is doing so well, y'all. This book is no joke. Where's the book at? Show, Over there. Show me the book one time. Pick it up. Look at this book, y'all. This thing is no joke. Show, show it to him one time. Look at this thing. I've got it tabbed out. So maybe Morgan that will be some type of saving grace. I don't know that it'll do me any good. Too much. There's no way I can... What are you studying tonight? What topic? ADHD. You were, you were studying cocaine the other night. And... And cocaine. And cocaine and In an academic setting. And I mean just fun stuff here. Serious fun stuff. You're doing it though. Killer. Killer. That's right. Morning everyone. It's about 6.40 Friday, February the 15th. Uh, I'm leaving a little earlier this morning. Uh, we have our black history program this morning. And as history department head, it falls on me to make this thing happen. And uh, this year we are doing a race relations panel with about five students that have been preparing uh, to discuss topics on race. Hope we have a big turnout. I know students are there against their will, but I hope we have a big turnout with the public. So prayers to everything goes well. We have a dynamic speaker. It's going to start around 9.15 this morning. I may do a little vlogging today during this. So <sighs> prayers that it goes well. We're at the auditorium. Uh, my boy Zach What's Smith up, right here. Uh, he, he's, he's setting this whole thing up. Tell him what you're doing right now. Uh, right now I'm trying to take roll, make sure everyone's here, and yep. then we're gonna do a sound check and get this thing rolling. He's our choir director. He does a great job. See all this? See all this right here? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is, but it's, it's, our, it's, for, our, it's, for, our, it's for our panel. Um, <clears throat> this is the choir. Everybody choir say hey. Uh, they're, do, they're getting ready to do a sound check right now, but uh, we're all getting set up about 30 minutes. We're going to release the students. So, see you on a minute. All right, we got Makai right here. She's going to be on our race relations panel. Uh, how you feel about it? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, she ain't scared of nothing, y'all. She ain't scared of nothing. But they've been practicing pretty hard on, on this. I'm sure if I'm even supposed to film students right now. Can I put this on YouTube? Yeah, I don't care. She don't care. She doesn't care. Um, I have the entire rest of my class right here, but I don't feel like they would want to be. Maybe. <laughs> 
All right. Gang's all here. Town area. He walked and walked, and he thought that he needed a snack that afternoon. So he came up on this snack shop. That was so after that, he got his peanut, and he got his, and he went on home. Understanding of where people come from, and we wouldn't be so divided. The more we talk about it, we'll be more comfortable with it, and like people won't. Sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners. But by the content of that character, I have a dream today. Whatever it takes. It's over. Had fun. Glad it's over though. And the students did such an awesome job. The choir did an awesome job. But it's over. It feels good that it's over. I hope people actually got something out of it. Um, and I'm just blessed to have this job, y'all. And I'm not just saying that in some kind of, you know, mushy type of way. Um, it is a blessing to do this every day. So, done. All right, we're at Longhorn. About to grub. Always. Tell, tell them what you made on the quiz. 17.83 out of 20 by the grace of God. That's by the grace of God. Literally, yeah. I don't like fried pickles, y'all. I feel like I should. I want to like fried pickles, but the texture is so weird. I don't like. I don't like the texture of fried pickles. <laughs> I never knew. I never knew that he didn't like fried pickles. I don't like fried pickles. Right back. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, we're eating out tonight, but it's not because of Valentine's Day. We are making intentional efforts to boycott Valentine's Day, as we always have. Right? Absolutely. Or should I have gotten you a gift? No. Okay. Because I didn't get you anything. Right. I didn't get him anything. And we're fine. I've always hated Valentine's Day. Like, I've always hated it. Yeah. I used to wear black on Valentine's Day. And I don't need a holiday out of the year, a commercialized holiday, to tell me I'm going to love my husband. I don't need it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I love her. This A1 sauce has an attitude. That's the that's the spirit. That's the spirit you gotta have when you're in school. The spirit I've got right now is eating fried pickles. No, I mean what we were talking about with Valentine's Day. <laughs> what would you say it was forced? Yeah. Valentine's Day is so forced. It's like on a, I hate that holiday. a Thursday God. night. Thursday night. I mean, me and her, that one. I mean, 830, we squaring up on bed. We'll be out yep. fighting a restaurant because society says we should be out on a Thursday night. Tonight we did a Friday night thing spontaneously, and it was so much better. Stick it to the man.